Hi, welcome to She Spice. Word in and out of town is that Ben Affleck isn't the one giving orders in his affectionate life. As a matter of fact, there's delicious tattle that Jennifer Lopez is extorting him to keep their relationship going in spite of the multitude of signs that it's not actually working. So is Dro truly keeping Ben locked down with a portion of his most closely guarded secrets? And what does Matt Damon Affleck's dearest companion need to say regarding this? In a new meeting, Matt communicated his profound worry for his long-term companion Ben Affleck, implying that Jennifer Lopez's impact may be more manipulative than we at any point envisioned. Matt attempted to caution Ben when he reunited with Jay, L, that this could happen. An insider told the day-to-day -day mail that Matt was there to assist Ben with taking care of business after their first part, and he felt like this would reoccur. The source added that Ben has forever been in wonderment about Matt's union with his spouse, Luciana Barroso, for more than 18 years. As things began self-destructing, Matt told Ben that he upholds any decision he makes, yet believes he should bounce in and center around his work. The insider told the power source Ben invested such a lot of energy in Joe's ventures that, as he did the initial time around, he let Ben know how she had at any point helped your vocation proceed. The source said Matt is the main genuine person companion Ben has. He wouldn't allow him to get back on the container and has been on him to ensure this. The conceived personality entertainer's concerns come closely following an ever-increasing number of reports circling that Ben and Jennifer's relationship is on the rocks on May 15th. A source solely uncovered to in touch that Ben and Jennifer were set out towards separation after he moved his effects out of their common home. The issue at hand is obvious to everyone. It's over. They're set out towards separation. And for once, Ben's not to blame. The insider said he's zeroing in on his work and his children now that Ben previously moved out, and they'll probably need to sell the fantasy house they endured two years looking for. They'll love one another constantly, but she has no control over him and he can't change her. It's basically impossible that it might have endured. The source proceeded, and they stood by for very nearly 20 years to reunite, yet in the end, they just couldn't make it work. The two of them said they developed and gained from their slip-ups, yet a portion of the greater issues that destroyed them, the initial time continued as before. How would you like them? Apples, there's insufficient alcohol on the planet for you to inspire me to express something about that. Matt's words have ignited an extreme hypothesis about what he implied by a solid relationship. Is he recommending that Jennifer Lopez isn't the steady accomplice she gives off an impression of being, as indicated by sources near the circumstance? Matt trusts that Jennifer may be extorting Ben into remaining with her, so how precisely is Jay? L. Coercing Ben Affleck? The talk plant has been humming with claims that Jennifer knows a portion of Ben's most profound mysteries, including bits of hearsay about his privileged insights, which, whenever uncovered, might actually harm Ben's profession and individual nurturing. The influence she really wants to keep him close by might be an inconvenience for the Hollywood power couple. Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck Individuals Magazine, detailing that the two have not been living insiders, recommends that Jennifer has been utilizing this information to control Ben, guaranteeing that he stays in a relationship that he could somehow need to leave. This supposed coercion is supposed to be the explanation for their wild one off-again relationship. I was gay, and I cherished it, and it felt regular, so from where did Ben's gay bits of gossip start? You will be shocked to realize that it was when Matt Damon and Ben's fellowship was at its pinnacle, and individuals began guessing more than kinship. Ben Affleck and Matt Damon have teamed up on various tasks with Harvey Weinstein, and Affleck freely lauded Weinstein for his association with their work together during the 1,997 Oscars. When Affleck won an honor for generosity hunting, he offered thanks, saying Harvey Weinstein put stock in us and made this film anyway. A few onlookers noticed that he showed up to some degree of apprehension during his acknowledgement discourse to thank Harvey Weinstein, who had confidence in us and made this film. Bearing anyway, when time elapsed and Harvey's actual face was uncovered to the world, he made an announcement on his Facebook account, saying that he was disheartened and furious that a man he once worked with exploited his ability to scare exposition and control numerous ladies over many years. The extra charges for a book that I read this morning made me debilitated. Affleck added, 
Affleck kept on saying that he's asking himself what he can do to ensure this doesn't occur to others. We should uphold the people who approach denounce this sort of conduct when we see it and assist with guaranteeing there are more ladies in influential places. Affleck and certain individuals additionally accept that Ben was on Harvey's warning rundown, pointing towards dubious activities before the arrival of unstable reports that catalyzed the Hashmi 2 development and at last added to the destruction of the previous film. Magnate Harvey Weinstein kept a rundown of people he was worried could address columnists in 2017 about his cooperation with ladies. Ben Affleck's name was among those recorded in this report ordinarily alluded to as the warning rundown, a detail substantiated by the assortment upon survey. This common you know in this industry should stretch out into, you know, finance and atch, and this other place supposedly, this rundown, was only one part of roughly 1,000 pages of reports that were unlocked at the New York City Criminal Town Hall preceding Harvey Weinstein's sentence. During Weinstein's seven-week preliminary, this record was referenced, yet just the name of the informant, Annabella Sora, was unveiled as being on the rundown. The lead examiner tried to introduce the whole rundown, which included both male and female names, to the jury for their assessment anyway, but the appointed authority eventually denied this solicitation. Truly, you know, I was 24 years of age. I never made a film. I didn't know quite a bit of anything. Truth be told, and ah, uh, you realizes, it truly is a disgrace on the grounds that, despite the fact that I quit working with Harvey for quite a while, there is a hypothesis among certain people that assuming that Ben Affleck's name showed up on the rundown Matt Damon's name could have been incorporated too. This hypothesis emerges from the conviction that Matt Damon might have likewise been a casualty of Harvey Weinstein and possibly had a few negative encounters with him. Thinking about the fact the fact that Ben had proactively shared his own encounters with Harvey Weinstein. Affleck said the encounters he had making his initial works with Weinstein are currently spoiled in light of the fact that while we were making these motion pictures, there were individuals who were endearing, he repeated his plan to give any remaining pay he acquires from Weinstein's movies to associations, for example, Downpour and Film, Autonomous and Joe Rogan has likewise called attention to Harvey's more dubious activities as he dug further into the perplexing universe of Tinseltown he and Light. Enid a few charming associations and communications that have ignited far and wide hypothesis and discussion clearly embraced a lady and his hand went down her back. This will be this is the portray at the core of Weinstein's control as framed by Rogan was a profoundly upsetting quid pro quo. Situation purportedly, he would let these hopeful entertainers, who knew if they took part in a show with him, be conceded the sought-after potential open door to becoming stars in his films anyway. Once an entertainer had conformed to his requests, they wound up exposed to additional abuse and misuse. Ben likewise said I realized Weinstein was shabby and sort of a harasser. However, sadly, that wasn't that unprecedented. He cleared up that as a 24-year-old rookie for Hollywood, who had never made a film, his being such a help to his companion didn't agree with his fans. Back in 2023, Matt Damon crossed paths with the El Jubtu in addition to the local area. When he offered remarks about his companionship with Ben Affleck, the Martian entertainer was examining the idea of their relationship and conceded that the bits of gossip about them being sincerely connected set us up to need to answer. The effective Hollywood entertainer communicated worry that individuals scrutinizing his work could think twice about his future vocation in business. Damon added that the hypothesis about him and Ben Affleck was actually profoundly hostile. I would dislike suggesting it's some kind of sickness, then it's like I'm blaming everything on my companions. These remarks came soon after Damon had a public conflict with writer Effie Brown on HBO's Venture Greenlight. He intruded on the dark filmmaker to communicate while you're discussing variety. You make it happen in the projecting of the film, not the projecting of the show. Effie showed up, apparently amazed and disheartened by the entertainer's interference with the hash. Damon Splaining immediately moved on Twitter following the questionable remarks. Damon quickly shielded himself, expressing that he's grieving that they outraged certain individuals. However, at any rate, I'm glad that they began a discussion about variety in Hollywood. Besides, during a meeting, he said that it is challenging for entertainers in the business to come across as gay straightforwardly, and individuals began conjecturing that here, too, he was talking about Ben. 
When Ben and I previously came on the scene, there were bits of hearsay that we were on the grounds that it was two people who composed content together. Damon told England's Watchmen, alluding to their Oscar-winning 1,997 film Generosity Hunting. It's very much like any piece of tattle, and it sets us up to need to answer. You understand what I mean, which was then actually profoundly hostile. Damon. Subscribe SheSpice for more videos.